Ukraine released a video showing an attack on a Russian armored convoy. The brigade said a Leopard 2 tank and other weaponry destroyed tanks and other vehicles. Russia has suffered major tank losses in the war, but it hasn't stopped it from advancing. New video footage released by Ukraine shows a Leopard 2 tank attacking a column of armored Russian vehicles. The footage, seemingly filmed by multiple drones and shared by Ukraine's 33rd Separate Mechanized Brigade, shows a convoy of Russian vehicles driving down a track and coming under fire, with smoke pouring out of some of the vehicles. Drone footage then shows soldiers being fired at as they try to escape. The crew of the Leopard tank smash a column of Russian armored vehicles to pieces. The brigade said the Leopard tank crew, assisted by artillery and drones, took out 47 soldiers, two tanks, an armored personnel carrier, three combat armored vehicles, and a motorcycle. According to the new voice of Ukraine, the 33rd Brigade is fighting in the major hotspot of Karakove, in Ukraine's Donetsk Oblast. Russia has suffered major vehicle losses in Ukraine. In October, it lost 695 pieces of equipment, including 103 tanks that were destroyed, damaged, abandoned, or captured, according to open source research project Oryx. But Ukraine has also encountered problems with using its tanks and has a notably smaller fleet, with Russia's larger military able to use its advantage in equipment and personnel to try to overwhelm Ukraine's defenses. A gun mount crew member of the 33rd Brigade said in an update posted on the Brigade's Telegram channel this week that Russia had doubled the size of its forces and was pressing in the area where the Brigade was operating. Both Ukraine and Russia have struggled to use tanks effectively in what has become a war dominated by drones. While tanks are designed to survive attacks, many models are not designed with attacks from above in mind, which is where even cheap drones can damage or destroy them. Ukraine has added additional armor to its most advanced Western tanks to try to defend them better against these kinds of attacks, as well as the heavy artillery used in the war. A tank loader in the 33rd Brigade told the new voice of Ukraine that the Leopards are very important to their defense in Kurakov. The loader, nicknamed Boroda, said, I've heard people say tanks aren't as crucial anymore, that artillery is more important for defense. I can't speak for the whole front, he added, but here, we've definitely been deploying more often. We're not just hitting enemy positions from afar, we're facing off with their armor more frequently. These close-range duels are where the Leopard really shines. The brigade spokesperson, Nazar Voitenkov, told the outlet that tank-on-tank -tank battles involving Ukraine's leopards had become more frequent. He also said Russia had not seen any significant gains in the area since February. Even so, Russia has been slowly taking territory in Ukraine over the past weeks, despite suffering losses. How Ukraine responds in the long run will likely depend on the actions of U.S. President-elect Donald Trump, who has repeatedly criticized U.S. aid to Ukraine. The U.S. has been Ukraine's single largest backer throughout the war, and losing its support would have a huge impact. Some Ukrainian soldiers and outside military experts have expressed cautious optimism that Ukraine could convince Trump to continue to support it financially, and that a potential change away from a slow drip of aid under President Joe Biden's administration could be good for the country. Meanwhile, a French military task force is wrapping up training of a new brigade of several thousand Ukrainian fighters who will be joining the war against Russia. They will be armed with France-supplied tanks, artillery cannon, and other heavy weaponry. The group of 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers known as the Anne of Kiev Brigade, which has undergone two months of intense military training in eastern and southern France, is being put through its final paces before returning to Ukraine. Once deployed, 
the French-trained brigade could prove to be a formidable force on the battlefield. It will eventually comprise 4,500 troops formed of infantry battalions, engineers, artillery teams, and other specialists, French authorities have said. The majority of Ukrainian fighters were recently mobilized and previously had only a few weeks of basic training before their arrival in France in September, the French military said. It's said the Ukrainian military is also training other troops for the brigade in Ukraine. The French military dedicated about 1,500 soldiers to the Champagne Task Force assigned to teaching the Ukrainians how to fight effectively together and how to use and maintain their France-supplied weaponry. With observation drones buzzing overhead and amid clouds of smoke and bursts of gunfire and explosions, the Ukrainian soldiers conducted exercises this week at a French military training camp, showing how they have learned to defend and storm a complex of trenches like those on the battlefronts in Ukraine. The French military wouldn't allow visiting journalists to interview the Ukrainians. French officers involved in the training said the troops are now better prepared for combat that they are likely to experience in the months ahead.